What's going on, everybody? Stereo Terrors are back here with another review, and it's none other than my boy Odell Young's uh, David Kessler from Werewolf in London custom figure run that he organized. He got everybody together to release this awesome, awesome piece that nobody's ever tried to tackle before. And uh, we're going to give all the credit to all the other artists that are involved. I'm just going to give credit to Odell right now, right on the opening scene. Uh, Odell, one thing that I do really appreciate about Odell is, first of all, communication is good. Usually the projects are in a timely manner. There are some delays, obviously, that he can't control. Like, say, if he's on a schedule with Yunsel, we got to wait out Yunsel's schedule. Or whoever artist is on a uh, timely schedule that has previous commissions before us. Now, other thing that I appreciate is that he does characters that not too many people or if anybody's ever tried to tackle before like he did jerry from fright night Candyman. nobody's ever tried to tackle uh until him and then obviously obviously here werewolf in london and that's the thing like it's funny you see him doing these projects and then a few other people will just put out their taste it's kind of like sometimes he he does things first and then it just kind of starts a wave of people wanting to do it so thank you adele for uh always trying to do new things and uh yeah, let's get into the piece. So Dave, this is David Kessler from Werewolf in London. And this is obviously a werewolf movie. And uh, this is what he looked like in the opening scenes of them traveling in London, through London. And then they, once they hit the bar, obviously, uh, that they hear the howling uh, wolf. And they're not, they're supposed to stay on the road, but they, they lose the road that they're walking on. They're... And they get attacked. His friend, uh, he gets bit by the wolf. His friend, Jack, gets killed. And uh, he makes his appearance in uh, ghost and skeleton forms in the movie. But this is the look that he had, David, in the beginning as they're hiking through London. Uh, so let's just get into the COA. Certificate of Authenticity, David Kessler, custom artwork figure. Clothing and, and accessories, Siberian Custom Studios sculpt. It's Charita uh, Rana Singh. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know if it's Charita or if it's Sharith, uh, Sharitha, but uh, that's the sculptor. Sorry, he does a lot of good things. Paint Edma. I got two of 19 with a picture of David and Jack in the beginning of the movie as they hear the wolf howling and then check this out awesome coa with cardboard and it's him transforming thick cardboard i'm gonna put it to this picture for now so that way we have something to look at and then uh, we have obviously the box over here and this box is truly i think one of my favorite things look at this artwork this art print that he was able to put on the box now the box inside is a black uh, ma magnetic lid box with foam perfect foam laser cut to fit the body we have the pentagram obviously and then we have a picture of the kessler wolf what is that a little bit of cellophane we have the kessler wolf that that's just look at that and it's a shiny shiny gloss finish another pentagram and then we have david here who obviously turns into the David Kessler wolf over here now let's start with the figure over here now this figure real quick I just gotta say tailoring probably some of the best tailoring I've ever seen and uh, start from the boots so we have the boots that was done by Alex at Siberian Customs sculpted over there and uh, I gotta say the boots are actually really good I wish they had a little bit better paint detail like as if he was walking uh, obviously through the mud road I felt like you should have had a little bit of mud here on the boots but it's acceptable this is a very clean looking figure and I appreciate that also at the same time because um, not everything has to be weathered you know I like my weathered things and I like all my clean things and everything in between but I do wish there was a little bit of maybe a little bit more detail on the boots but that's my only nitpick other than that the sculpting is really on point got the sculpted shoelaces it's got the details over there on the tracks of the shoes that I can't focus on because life just hits you at the wrong times then we come up to the jeans that he was 
wearing obviously and the stitching work is impeccable the material is thin to where it's posable and all that and uh, the proportioning is really well done uh, awesome job by Siberian Customs stitch work we have the pockets in the back that gotta be a little bit careful the jean pockets and I know Alex and Odell went through strenuous uh, photos to get the right look and proportioning and then over here we have what is the most impressing thing is the jacket the poofy poofy winter jacket that he had um, just the stitch work is amazing the material is perfect the button the strap work of the backpack uh, he's got the black undershirt with the white button up in the bottom the zipper work is exceptional uh, obviously your standard uh, hands that come with the, I believe the TTM 18 body I believe they used or something like that and then over here the proportion is awesome the backpack has got the leather work it's got even the the logo of the company Jan Sport strapping it's really well done absolutely well done look it's got even metal work metal work on the backpack over here for the shoulder straps amazing and then we come up to the head sculpt which is done by Charita or Sharith Sharitha and I think it looks like David if you guys look over there it looks like David I think it could be a little bit more spot-on to be honest I think that he got the nose right I think he got the longness of the face right I think maybe the hair is throwing it off for me now obviously I would have liked to see real hair on this piece, but it is such a hard style to achieve that I understand why they went sculpted. But it is still a strong sculpt. I just, it's missing. I think it's like 75, 80% there. But then you look over here, and I gotta say, Edmaw's paint is actually really impressing me right now because I have plenty of Edmaw's work, uh, thanks to my friend who is always hooking me up. Uh, usually the paint is more glossy and uh, has a lot more red tones this has red tones but it's not as glossy as usually the finished product is he actually kind of toned it down in a good way and it brings i think the product in a much better light if you guys can see over here and i think it helps the sculpt a lot it's got the five o'clock shadow over there you can see all the details and the eye work is really exceptional excellent work I think this is a really, really awesome release. I think uh, it's something that's been needed in the hobby for a long time, and I thank every artist and uh, obviously Odell for bringing this to life. Uh, this isn't the full thing. Uh, we, this isn't the full thing. We are missing the bust. There is the bust where he's a mid transformation of becoming the wolf, the Kessler wolf, which is shipping a little later uh, because of scheduling issues. But Odell was gracious enough to ship out the figure first and give us the figure. And then uh, we will receive the bus, and I'll do a review on the bus once it comes in. And that's going to be really stellar as well. Uh, so it would be a great proximity piece. It's about roughly four inches tall, five, six inches wide. Uh, but, okay, tailoring, 10 out of 10. Presentation, 10 out of 10. I like the fact that it's limited, because in this hobby, nothing is limited anymore. It really isn't. <clears throat> you got people doing re-releases. You got people saying, oh, I'm not going to do this character. And then they redo this character. And... With Odell, you get the number that is told. Um, sometimes he might do different iterations of the character, but he will never redo the same character the same way twice, which I appreciate. Uh, and if he does do something new, he'll redo a new sculpt, new everything, which I like. So it, it brings the collectability back uh, into, into perspective for me because, dude, I've been told sometimes that Oh, this is going to be a one-off, or this is a limited run of five, or a limited run of ten. And then you see fucking re-releases and all this bullshit, or you catch people selling behind the scenes. And, yeah, to the people that do that, just be honest up front, you know. If you're if you're going to fucking just do that, just fucking just say, like, hey, for now I'll do ten. Probably going to do some in the future. Don't know when, a few years from now, maybe, I don't know, or maybe a few weeks or whatever. Just be honest, you know. But uh, that's why I'm happy with Odell. That he actually limit exclusivity and limited stuff he upholds that but uh like i said presentation 10 out of 10 
uh, tailoring 10 out of 10. Sculpt, I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. Paint, I give it an 8 out of 10. And an overall score of an 8.5. Now, once we get the wolf bust, that obviously will be judged on its own thing. But it would probably bring this up to a 9.0 release. And uh, limited to 19 in the world. Going to be definitely a sought after run. Now, he is doing Jack. Uh, his companion piece, and uh, there's going to be some fire coming your way. Trust me, as I will be helping him with some things. Now, until next time, guys, conquer your own collection. Stay sick. Thank you, Odell Young, and to all the other artists that hopped on this project and made it come to life. Peace.